Then to put a flag in front of each cliff you don't want. Okay, no flags. Check. Um, I'm Mark, by the way. I don't have the form. Ronaldo, uh, Ronaldo's waiting eggs. That's a scene from Not For Sale, which debuted this week at the Urban Theater. It's opening weekend for it in Humble Park. The play was written by local playwright Guadaliz del Carmen, who joins us today together with Ivan Vega, who's the executive director for Urban Theater, which just opened its 13th Chicago-centric season. Hello. Yes, hello. Okay, Guadaliz, I think I know after seeing that scene, watching that scene and knowing Humble Park, what the show is about, but I want you to explain what's Not For Sale about. So Not For Sale is about basically gentrification that's happening in Humble Park. Uh, Miranda Gonzalez, who's the artistic director of Urban Theater Company, wanted uh, me to write this story. Um, Humble Park is an ever-changing neighborhood, but the one thing that has never changed is, is that it's a very Boricua neighborhood. Mm -hmm. um, so the story itself talks about everything that's going on from um, the rezoning of the area, the new folks coming in, and then the the old folks trying to kind of keep their home. Um, we talk about the politics that go into gentrification and we talk about the real estate that goes into it um, and the fight that goes into keeping your home. Why was it necessary to tell the story at Urban Theater? Why do you think this is the perfect place for it? Well, Urban Theater Company focuses very much on telling local stories and telling stories about the community. Urban Theater has been part of, uh, of Humble Park for 13 seasons mm -hmm. now. Um, so it's something that was very much uh, home, mm -hmm. and it felt like something that we wanted to, to talk about this year, especially. Ivan, is this the See? first play you commissioned as Urban Theater? This is our very first commissioned play, mm -hmm. yes. Why did you want this play? Why, why did you come with this story? Miranda Gonzalez came on board a year ago, and uh, I've known her for years, but we talked about Urban Theater Company, where we were, where we're at, where we want to go, and uh, we looked at the company, and uh, there are, uh, the administrative team are folks who are born and raised in Chicago, so our theme is Chicago born and raised. So we decided the direction that Urban Theater had to go in was to provide opportunities for Chicago playwrights and tell Chicago stories. So uh, being in Humble Park for the last 13 years, being deeply rooted in our community, working hand in hand with organizations like the Puerto Rican Cultural Center, we felt it was, uh, it was extremely timely and import, uh, important, and it was a perfect partnership that came about at a perfect time. You may know not, not know this, but Urban Theater is right in the heart of the Puerto Rican community, on Division Street. On Division Street. Bandera, Bandera, mm -hmm. right there smack in the middle. In front of La Plena Restaurant. So when you leave the storefront theater, you will see the characters in your show. Absolutely. You will live the story firsthand and see it live, which, which is, it's a luxury. Yes. It absolutely is. And the actors that we have, it was incredible. I mean, we've been talking about this the entire rehearsal. It's like each character, the actor that's playing each character, it's like perfectly fit. Um, we were pretty blessed to have uh, Frank Avila playing the main character, Ray, who has been in the neighborhood for decades, basically his entire life, um, and telling the story kind of through his eyes of seeing this neighborhood changing, going through the 77 riots, um, seeing the flags of steel going up, um, and the different iterations of the Puerto Rican festival. Uh, just seeing that and now being at the cusp of the neighborhood changing into something completely different. Um, so having Frankie play that character was incredible and amazing. I, I know plenty of uh, local playwrights, especially playwrights of color, Latino, African-American. I know it's not easy to find a stage for your plays. Mm -hmm. This is a blessing. It absolutely it's kind is, of yeah. like creating <laughs> your own space, yeah. putting it out there. Yeah, and I feel really blessed to have been able to work with companies that have been super supportive mm -hmm. of me as, as an actress, which uh, that's how I came across Urban Theater, mm -hmm. um, but also as a playwright saying, hey, I've never had a commission before. This is my first commission. So it was yes. al almost kind of like, <laughs> let's walk <laughs> each other through this, right. per this process. And it's been really great. Um, and, you know, just a perfect fit. And the stories that, they, that Urban Theater always tells are stories that are very important to me as well mm -hmm. as, as a human being, as an actress, and as a playwright. So I couldn't have asked for a better company to have this first experience Likewise. to be with. What other stories are we going to listen to during this Chicago-centric season? So we have uh, Not For Sale. And then in the summer of 2019, uh, there is a book written by Jose Echeverria called The Real Dance Fever. Mm -hmm. So it is about the dance crews during the 80s, house music, the culitos, the all-stars. Uh, <laughs> yes. 
It is a play I don't know we, about that. We are extremely excited about. Uh, we are finalizing information uh, regarding uh, who is adapting the book, uh -huh. The Real Dance Fever. Uh, it will happen very soon, but it is happening the week after the Puerto Rican parade. That, oh my goodness, perfect match. Yes. Mm -hmm. Go mm -hmm. check out the Urban Theater. Go see Not For Sale. Guadalese, congratulations. Thank you so Break much. Break a leg. Ivan, thank you for I being here from you. Urban Theater. And uh, the play just opened and it closes when? October 20th. And it's uh, part of uh, Clata's uh, Destinos Festival. They have an I entire uh, programming around Latinx theater, international Latinx theater, which that is incredible. Right. So I know we had them in Ad Adelante as well. They Thank you fantastic. so much. They're yes. wonderful. Thank you so, so much for joining us today.